Grange is here while I'm getting my breakfast ready. And we discovered that Granger loves straws. Don't you, buddy? Yeah. Here you go. That's your straw. Now we get some milk. Oh, it's a bit too much milk. Granger. Granger will benefit from that. <laughs> so since it's been Christmas, I've been playing um, this station probably to Simon's absolute chagrin. Um, it is, uh, we have an app, I don't know whether it's available everywhere, but it's called iHeartRadio. And yeah, they have a classic Christmas station. So <laughs> I've been listening to that pretty much ad nauseum if I'm not listening to my podcast. So we've got Peter Elvis this morning. And Marion seems to like it. As I said, uh, Granger's going to get most of that milk. So here we go. He's ready. Is that good, buddy? Mmm, you like your dairy, don't you? Don't splash it on the carpet! <laughs> Looks like I've got some clean up work to do. So today is a very uh, grey and wet day, <laughs> which is not really great for dyeing yarn, but that is what I'm going to do today. Um, I have my Christmas self-strapping pre-orders to finish. So um, yes, it's going to be pretty wet out here. And don't mind Granger's bed all over the place, he's ripped his kitchen apart, so I've got to somehow get out and uh, pick all of that up. <sighs> I haven't moaned for a little while either because I've, you know, been super busy being on vacation last week and um, now dying this week. So, yeah, <sighs> never ends. And Marion's here enjoying her Christmas music. Isn't that right? Yes, yes. You're a funny girl. Who's a funny girl? Yeah, you. You're funny. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Now, my favourite part of the day, getting all this cleaned up so that I can do my dyeing. Unfortunately, we had a casualty of the doing the dishes episode. One of my favourite wine glasses. Now, I only have three, so that's kind of frustrating. Oh well, I guess it's bye bye to my wine glass. Let's wrap it up and put it in the bin. Bye bye, glass. Oof. So I've started setting up for dyeing. This is my kitchen <laughs> and uh, this is kind of how it works. I try and keep my dye isolated to the wet towel here so that it doesn't sort of get all over the bench. Um, sometimes it does but I just clean it up. I mean I don't eat food off my bench. I don't prepare food on my bench. I use cutting boards and things like that so you know I'm probably not in a, a too much of a risk of getting it in my food um, and there's just I chuck all my stuff into the corner <laughs> the bottle of wine that somebody left from uh, Saturday night from Simon's birthday party um, and I've got my yarn soaking here ready to go so uh, that's up today also up today in my very um, messy craft room of which I'm not going to show you all of it because you will be appalled um, <laughs> I've got to be re-skeining uh, the self-striping that I dyed yesterday so that's back on the warping board there's my my trusty old um, what do you call it ball winder that I've had since I started knitting back in 2013 I think it was um, cost me $16 off eBay best thing I've ever bought <laughs> um, so yeah, that's another chore for today is to get this back skeined up so I can give it another rinse and uh, get it out to everyone who ordered. Okay, so I finished all my dyeing for today. That's all of my pre-orders now dyed. And uh, yeah, I guess uh, wait for them to dry in this wet weather. It's going to be a bit sucky. Uh, so I've got to do a little bit of admin now and I'm going to sit down and have a coffee and then I'll get back to some more winding.
saw Buddy. Oh, what happened, Wanda? Did you fall over? Wait, did you fall over? What are you doing? Hey, Buddy. What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? You funny boy.